The next question will be asked by Cynthia Tucker, answered first by Congressman Tancredo. Cynthia. Congressman, recently a push to give the District of Columbia voting representation was defeated because of heavy Republican opposition. In addition, many voting rights advocates are worried about rigid voter ID laws, which require a photo ID like a driver's license. Are you concerned that some eligible voters will be denied the right to vote simply because they don't have a driver's license? Well, let's first take the issue that you mentioned with regard to the District of Columbia. It is not a state and therefore not entitled to representation as a state. If, in fact, you want, if, if, if it becomes the desire of the country to have that kind of representation, then the district, then it should be split up. And the, and the portion that was ceded to the federal government by Virginia should go back to Virginia. The portion that was ceded by Maryland should go back to Maryland. Then they would be represented by states. It would work. Also, with regard to, to voting opportunities and the use of a, uh, a photo ID, let me tell you that it is really not that difficult to obtain. And I, I don't think that we're asking too much of people when they're, when they're doing something that is one of the most sacred duties of anybody in this society to actually show that they are the person who they say they are. I don't think that's asking too much. And I think you can get a photo ID and they don't even have to need... You don't even need a driver's license. You can get a photo ID, a state ID. You can do it relatively easily. Thank you, sir. Congressman Hunter. Well, thank you, uh, Tavis. Uh, you know, I might uh, be a little more open to, to uh, statehood for, for D.C. if they would allow their citizens uh, to be able to keep and bear arms in their houses to protect their safety. And I, I, offered, that a, I offered that amendment a couple of years ago. It passed, and when it passed, the Democrats brought down the entire crime bill rather than let D.C. residents have the right to keep and bear arms. And on the issue of, uh, of allowing, mandating uh, some type of ID, you know, the first 21 black congressmen were Republicans who came out of the South, and they went into a series... They went into a series of poll taxes and, and all types of, uh, of, uh, of deals uh, that the Democrats put in roadblocks the Democrats put in their place to keep them from being able to vote. So I don't, I don't agree with those types of, uh, of stumbling blocks, but I would say this. We have right now a real danger of people that are illegally in the country being rounded up, herded into the polls. We've seen that in California, voting illegally. That disenfranchises Congressman everybody Conner. in that community. I think you have to have some IDs. Thank you, sir. Ambassador Keys. I think the most important thing to remember about Washington, D.C. is that it was established to be a unique representation of the whole people of the United States. That's a city that's supposed to belong to the nation not to any one group and not to any one region. That's why it was put together in the first place. I think it's terribly important to maintain that symbol of the unity of our country. We're a free people. If folks don't want to live in the conditions that prevail in Washington because of its unique status, they can go to Maryland. A whole bunch of folks have done so. They can go to Virginia. A whole bunch of folks have done so. Some of the biggest churches and everything else now exist in Prince George's County because people left the district. They have that right, and I think that they can exercise it, but I think that the country is entitled to have this possession that symbolizes our whole united people standing together as one community. I think it's terribly uh, important that we sustain it. Governor Huckabee. Well, I may be kind of a little different on this one. I believe that the people of D.C. should be able to vote for representation. I think that's appropriate for the simple reason of equality and justice, and if we need to amend the Constitution to make that possible, it should happen. D.C. is not the same city it was when it was first created, and I think it just makes sense uh, to not have a group of people. I don't care what color they are. I don't care how they vote. They ought to be able to vote, and their color and their political affiliation ought to have nothing to do with the equality that we should give them. As far as uh, identification, I have to show photo ID to get on an airplane in my hometown. I think it's not asking too much to make sure that people who are voting are truly eligible voters. But look, if it's a driver's license issue, we've gone to motor voter. Let's have photo voter. So when you register to vote, they take your picture, put it on a card, and you simply are able to make sure that you're a registered voter. That way it doesn't dilute the vote if a lot of people who aren't registered voters try to fraudulently vote. Thank you, Governor. Congressman Paul. It's very clear under the Constitution that we couldn't give the vote to the residents of D.C. 
without an amendment to the Constitution, and it should be pursued in that manner. But when it comes to national ID cards, I mean, uh, the identification, I think the states have, have the prerogative and the right and the obligations to identify the voters, and they should. But the reason I, I, I get worried about it when we start talking about it nationally is, uh, you know, they might want to use the real ID. They might want to think it's a good excuse to have a national ID card to vote, and I am positively opposed to any move toward the national ID card. Thank you. Senator Brownback? Yes. It's a good question. It's a tough question. I've chaired the D.C. subcommittee, both the authorizing and the appropriation subcommittee. I support the residents of D.C. the right to vote. But there's a way to do it, and there's a way not to do it. And the way to do it is to amend the Constitution, and the way not to do it is to pass something that's unconstitutional. In the 23rd Amendment to the Constitution, it gave D.C. the right to vote for president. But it didn't give them the right to vote for Congress. And what you have to do, what we have to do, and what I support is amending the Constitution so they can have the right to vote. D.C. deserves that right. There's a way to do it. There's a way not to do it.